All right, let's talk about Cactus Virus X, or CVX. Now, it was first observed in Taiwan back in 2001. Now, I found this article online. You could see it was uh, headed by the University of California, UCCE, Agriculture and Natural Resources. They also have a Pattaya Festival every year. And I can see Romero Lobo uh, was in charge of this, so that is awesome, and others as well. So on to the second slide, you can see that they first observed this now in California back in 2011. And they, I find it concerning at the bottom. You can see that out of the te uh, samples they tested, it had a very high positive rate. So I can infer that the farmers that were concerned about their plants sent the samples out and they tested positive. So if they were concerned, they probably had good reason to be concerned. Now you can see onto the third slide, it's hard to work with. It's probably hard to test because it will get gelatinous and kind of, um, you know, how it will just get into that sloppy mess or goop. Now, but also you can see the distribution of the viruses can be uneven in the plants. And there's not a lot of research on the plant hosts either. So onto the next slide, I find this concerning as well, especially since I grow some of these varieties, but that the virus doesn't just affect uh, Hylocereus. It affects uh, night blooming cactus, Cirrus, uh, saguaros, apuntias, and zygocactus. And I have uh, some of these varieties, so I am extra concerned about CVX. You can see it's found all over the world and there's different strains. And uh, plants can be asymptomatic. They could have no symptoms or they could have distorted aerials, deformed spines, necrosis, modeling, or all of it and it will lead to plant death. Now, it is transmitted mainly by uh, mechanical. So in other words, your pruning shears, uh, plant contact, and grafting. So I mean, that's why you gotta use uh, rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide on your shears because you could transmit this just by pruning, pl uh, going from plant to plant and pruning it. Now the good news is it's not transmitted by seeds and there are no known vectors, so no bugs are transmitting this Cactus Virus X. You can see it's found in all parts of the plant, even the fruit, and that the infection rate is high, so that is concerning as well. On to the next slide now, some visuals. Um, and I also have two uh, cuttings I'm, I'll show you at the end. I'm concerned about, I'm monitoring them. Uh, but you can see the first, uh, one of the symptoms, the first symptom they talk about is stunting. And that's where the plant doesn't show any new growth, no new flowers. It just kind of gets lar enlarged, more enlarged, uh, and no new growth. And the plant will kind of turn a dark uh, green color or dull, and I'd say it's more of a brown. I think I've seen CVX before at a farm. The plant was more of a brown than green, in my opinion. Now onto the next slide, you can see chlorosis and modeling. Now this is another symptom to be uh, monitoring. Now. Uh, some plants can get this, just maybe due to too much sun or other factors. So don't kill your plant if you just have some of this. Just start monitoring it, chlorosis and modeling. Okay, it could also be a, a deficiency in uh, vitamins, I guess, and minerals. Now onto the next slide, you can see it talks about twisting of arms. Now Makisupa uh, has twisted arms, and that is normal for that variety. Also, Robles Red is one I've collected, and it's twisted as well. And I was a little concerned, but I looked online, and um, I even saw the mother plant, and uh, it was slightly twisted. So again, I've seen other varieties do this, so just keep an eye on it. Uh, it's just another symptom to monitor. However, it doesn't necessarily mean your plant has CVX. I'd say it's more of an accumulation of all of these uh, factors or um, symptoms, I should say. Now onto the next slide, you can see, I think these are the most concerning, the one on the left especially. But speckling is something to watch for. Kind of looks like chlorosis to me, uh, but it's a little different. But the one on the left, again, that brownish to the, they call it reddening, but to me it's almost like a browning. And that is something extremely concerning that is probably going to lead to plant death. So onto the next slide, you can see that you want to scout for symptoms and isolate anything that you find concerning, like I've done, I did that. 
and also eliminate any hosts outside. It could be weeds that transmit this as well, or landscape plants. So try to keep those away from your dragon fruit. Um, in addition, um, you could test if you are a farmer, but uh, backyard growers, I don't see that being an option. And then collect those younger leaves uh, with the symptoms if possible and um, throw it away. So on the last slide, there's no cure. You gotta destroy your infected stock. And you, the key is you gotta avoid that transmission if you have it. Get it out, throw everything away, including the soil, and um, keep your pruning shears clean. Use bleach and the other cleaners that they suggest at the end of this presentation. So I hope this teaches you something about Cactus Virus X or CVX. As you can see, it's something concerning for dragon fruit growers. And if you keep your tools clean and your plants separate, I think you're gonna be okay. These are two cuttings that I'm monitoring for CVX. The one on the left is an unknown Nicaraguan. And two concerning factors are that it has no new growth. One, it's rooted, but no new growth. And two, it's slightly twisted. Now this one is especially concerning because it had three of the factors here. This axe cutting ha is twisted, has no new growth, and the third factor is that it had some chlorosis until I put it in the shade. So I am concerned for this, but I'm not for sure it has CBX. I'm going to monitor it carefully. So again, you want to keep these um, cuttings if you're not sure if they have CVX you want to keep them separate from your other varieties to isolate them like I have here and give them some time and if you have any um, concern at all for CVX you're going to want to take them and throw them away all of it that would be the best bet all right give us a like and a subscribe have a wonderful day take care